Saturday's Guardian, let's go to the one person who actually dyes their hair grey for this story, Lewis. Yes, well, you know, <laughs> you know something. I, I, it's very easy, especially with men, it's very mm. easy to, you know, to go grey. You can go grey in an instant when you stop colouring your hair, and that's what happened to me. Mm. And, uh, but she says she's been fired. There's, there's a let's woman. tell the story, yeah. Okay, I'll tell the story. So there's a woman in Canada, her name is Lisa Laflame. Lef- Laflame, Laflame, who knows how they pronounce things in Canada. Laflame. And she's on Canadian TV, which is, which is, the state broadcaster, so they have to they have to do things by the book. Whatever she's been working for years, she's supposed to supposedly had a good job. It took place in Canada. No one gives a damn about Canada, especially Americans. Okay, but she she was out for COVID and she came back. She'd let her hair go gray and she looked very attractive, fifty eight years old, perfect for Lewis Schaefer, and uh, younger woman. <laughs> <God. laughs> the Me Too movement's back. Very very. No, but she was attractive. <laughs> She was, I would go you out. You know what? I thought I had done pretty bad earlier, but it's good to see you uh, taking this step further. Well, do you know what? You know what? I wouldn't go out with her now because she doesn't have a job, and I need a woman with a job because <laughs> I'm not doing that well. You need, your, you need your rent paid, as we discussed. Rent yeah. pill, 30%, 30%. Anyway, so she was fired because she supposedly let her hair go gray and she was now too old. But they never said she was too old. It was probably something. Yeah, else. but her peers, her male peers, had all sort of stayed in those jobs that are like 77 or whatever. I mean, do you right. think that society judges women harsher when they age, Nick? Well, the interesting thing... Can I just interrupt Nick? Nick. No, Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick. I'll come Go back on, to then. you in a second. OK. Right? OK. Well, yeah, I mean, look, is it, 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 is it just women? I don't know. She, she stopped dyeing her hair during lockdown. She thinks it was because of this, because a senior executive asked who let Lisa's hair go away. We, we don't know for sure if it's because of this, but um, pro- pro- could well be. Okay. Um, I wonder, I mean... Um, ageism is the one thing that's accepted in general. Mm. The ultra right on BBC, ultra well, they have all these comedians on there and they try and get, you know, they're obsessed with diversity. But comedians often point out the one they miss is age and they always say, why can't club comedians like Jeff Innocent, who are very good, get on? And it's because they're old and it's this weird thing, we won't allow older people on. Now, weirdly, in the US, that one tends to imagine would be more superficial, actually, they respect all the comedians. They, they let people like well, Louis, Louis C.K. Well, like, before the incident. Stand up takes decades. Takes decades to get good at, so they respect these older comedians. Mm. And we don't have that here. So, yeah, I think there's a general ageism, especially on TV. I'm now worrying about dyeing my hair as we speak. Louis looks very good. I dyed we... my beard the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is it faded? faded? It's faded already. Yeah. Well, we can't... Louis is very lucky. He just looks great with this look. No, no, he looks like a De Niro. Chisel. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got, to, I've got a genetic, I've got a gene. Two the genes. problem is everything he says, but that's yeah. what we're working on. Right.